one thing which actually bothered me was self doubt i did not have that kind of a confidence i somehow found that i was outdated or probably i was not that person who could face the people with that confidence which i had earlier started believing that i am not fit to get back to work i actually did not have the confidence to go and talk to people or go for interviews as well just stop calling this as a public speaking course because it is not just about public speaking it is yeah. a total transformation yeah it has changed my life in every wow. aspect i would say today okay. what do you have instead of self doubt i have dash what is that dash for you today super confidence love that super love so that. there's there's a saying i would say super se upar it's been mm-hmm. the people around me all of a sudden have started seeing me looking up to me as a very good communication expert but yeah. what has shifted what has moved is that it doesn't affect me any any more that what people are going to say about me now when i knew that this is the way where you start a topic this is going to be the middle this is going to be the end of the story no. i know to frame it in a much better and a much organized way so you remember uh, bishal in one of the sessions i had actually mentioned that i wanted to do something for the underprivileged kids so yeah. i yeah i recently got connected to a skill development institute and there i have been uh, taking soft skills training for underprivileged students wow yeah. So. Beautiful. That's amazing. How do you Can feel I... doing this? How do you do feel doing this contribution and service? Uh, see, I, to be very honest, Vishal, I kind yeah. of I was very happy. I was very excited because this was something which was, um, you know, a goal which was in my mind, which I never thought it would come my way that early. And um, of course, um, it's it's a wonderful feeling, and the way they respond to you because you know they can actually sense that yeah. you are the person. Who's going to transform their life? Bishal Sarkar here today. We have Verlin, a very special person who graduated from our program, who went to our went through our public speaking program and really improved a lot. And that's why I invited her to share her story that you're watching right now, maybe on your phone, maybe on your computer. And you're probably wondering about her story. Maybe you are an executive, maybe you are a business owner, maybe you are a corporate leader. Maybe I don't know where you are watching it from, but right now I can guarantee that her story will inspire you. So Verlin, tell us exactly where you're joining from. Tell us a little bit about your family, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. Thank you, Vishal, for the warm welcome. And uh, yes, so I will start my story where I started my career. So I was in second mm. year college when I started with my career with uh, a telecom uh, organization, and I was working with that organization for around eight years. And this was into customer service. While I was working, I had a very beautiful, a very flourishing career, full of confidence, and I was growing. I think probably every single day. now the bend in the story comes where i wanted to take a break out of my career to upbring my kids that was a choice that i made for my own life and after a sabbatical for around 7 years when i wanted to get back to work when i actually thought that there is that little piece of me who was still waiting in that corporate world i did not have that kind of a confidence i somehow found that i was outdated or probably i was not that person who could face the people with that confidence which i had earlier this is the point where i started believing that i am not fit to get back to work i actually did not have the confidence to go and talk to people or go for interviews as well mm. and yes i came across a few public speaking courses at that moment i did a few of them as well and the game changer was when i saw a video by mr bishal sarkar and i finally decided that yes i would like to go ahead with this person so there nice. was that i would say there was a calling which i could feel though i had done a uh, public speaking courses earlier as well but i don't know mm. what was that one thing which actually drawed me towards that this is the person who is going to transform my life mm. with the public speaking course vishal what do i say i think just stop calling this as a public speaking course because it is not just about public speaking it is yeah. a total transformation yeah it has changed my life in every wow. aspect i would say and wow. trust me uh, i i hope believe that you can sense that confidence level that happiness in my life Absolutely. that i am feeling right now 
but trust Absolutely. me just 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 rename this because it is a transformation <laughs> course you have not yeah. only worked upon our external skills but you have actually mm. transformed my soul as well so, wow uh, wow yeah. yeah i love that i got goosebump hearing when you said that you transformed the soul that appreciate it appreciate you saying that verlin and by the way just want to say to everybody who's watching it right now verlin is one of the most open minded people that we had in the program because any time i've given sometimes inside the program i give her some tough feedback you know not just some not just encouragement which i give but also some tough feedback hey you're not doing it hey you're missing it and she was always the person who took it very positively and bounced back and and that's why she is here right now you know making all the improvements that we'll hear about verlin take us back to you know a couple of months back in in the past when like what made you join our program speakathon like what were the specific public speaking issues confidence issues communication issues that you faced uh, for which you thought enough is enough i have to stop that what were some of the issues that made you you know commit to this program all right so vishal first and foremost one thing which actually bothered me was self doubt mm. and i think that you know something where where there is something in your mind that is something which actually starts you know it it it's just around your life because that is influencing your behavior your actions your decision making as well so self doubt that am i worthy so although i started working after that so it was of course on a practical sense i definitely had stage fear on a practical sense i actually thought that i was never a content person that if i have to say something what am i supposed to say and mm. of course looking at the bigger picture self doubt where i was not in the correct mindset when i accepted myself as a good speaker how would mm. i convince my audience when i am myself not convinced on that right so that right. was something which was really i mean that one thing i would say just to bottle down everything one oh. thing which was that self doubt which was influencing every part of my career my life my relationships everything so that where the transformation really happened so that self doubt was playing some negative ripple ripple effects in other areas of your life not just absolutely. speaking absolutely absolutely yeah. to give you an example i had opportunities coming my way but i didn't take those opportunity because i thought i was not worthy of those opportunities because yeah. i didn't see myself that i fit into his, in into this role because right. i never thought that i was capable enough absolutely so yeah sometimes people have that stage fear or nervousness um yeah. for you it was more about self doubt you have you had the knowledge and the experience to share but i think the words you said i was writing down when you said it you know what am i supposed to say like how am i supposed to say that and if i have that self doubt how can i influence other people if i'm not you know influencing myself if i'm not convinced my own about my own value so at that time you had the term self doubt today okay. what do you have instead of self doubt i have dash what is that dash for you today super confidence yeah love that super love so that. there's there's a saying i would say super se upar super se upar <laughs> <laughs> so if there is yeah awesome. so using it in a superlative form so if there is something which is super to confidence i would say yes because i have started seeing myself as a very good communicator and it's not about just me it's been mm. the people around me all of a sudden have started seeing me looking up to me as a very good communication expert and this yeah. is how you know when you start believing in yourself it's not just that internal thing which has shifted your overall body language your aura the way you look at things the way the decisions that i have been taking uh, as i just mentioned bishal that there was a, an opportunity which was waiting for me for a very long time i just kept mm. procrastinating it just waiting for the right time because we've spoken about these confidence killers as well in our uh, sessions so this yeah. was like a yeah a awakening call that there was nobody who could tell me that verlin you are probably getting into that zone of procrastination and that self doubt is something which was uh, keeping me away from my dreams or goals that i wanted to achieve so very Absolutely. recently i have yes just fulfilled a goal where i have joined an organization which i wanted to do from a very long time mm. so yeah so that was like i think Bingo. the biggest win of all yeah and i would just like to add one more thing here sure. see when it comes to self belief or self doubt it is not only when it will reflect in your speaking it will reflect in your overall behavior and actions as well so mm. i had mentioned this in one of the sessions earlier as well i have been very fond of dancing okay but i probably never did it earlier just because yeah. you would know that you know people are looking at you and you're not confident enough but now i have been to 
you know these parties and these social gatherings mm. and i think i've been dancing for like 2 hours 3 hours and yeah. it's not that you taught me to dance in these sessions yeah. this was not like a <laughs> dancing uh, course or something but yeah. what has shifted what has moved is that it doesn't affect me any any more that what people are going to say about me so this confidence mm. level and now i actually get compliments people coming and telling me that ready you dance very well so i don't know yeah. what was missing in between bingo i love that right? what what you said is very important you basically you stop judging yourself now you know and you are you you don't think about what people are thinking about you are fully you're owning your value you know you're owning your your own skills your desires that that's amazing so confidence wise you are very strong let's quickly talk about expression meaning what were some of the challenges for example sometimes people have challenges with they are at a loss of words or they don't have the right vocabulary or they don't have the natural flow they forget the fluency is missing spontaneous speaking is a problem structuring their points so in terms of those points what are some of the challenges that you are facing before joining our public speaking mastery program uh, of course like i mentioned i actually thought that i was never a content person but yeah. after speakathon with all the frameworks we have received okay apart yeah. from i mean every day doing that assignment i think that was at one ritual after my prayers i know for a fact that i used to check my phone that you know what is bishal going to give an assignment today so that yeah. topic always kept on my mind and doing those topics on a given framework so i gradually i have realized that wow i i am a content person i have so much of material which is in my head but it was just that it was not structured in a way so mm. putting it down into paper mm. in a structured manner is something that we learned through all the frameworks that you have taken us through secondly impromptu speaking vishal you know for a fact it was the the impromptu <laughs> session speaking was like a surprise for all of us and it was not just me it was everyone who was performing so well so that was something i think it's not about you know just practice it's about the right kind of practice with the right exactly. kind of framework as well yeah. so that yeah. is what actually made a difference and now when i knew that this is the way where you start a topic this is going to be the middle this is going to be the end of the story yeah. i know to frame it in a much better and a much organized way yeah yeah that's a very important point you said right there previously um i i, I remember during that on the during the session of spontaneous speaking i remember you saying Hey that was like a lifelong problem for me that got solved in just one session right you know something like that do you remember you say, say, saying something yeah. like this yeah yes i remember because i was the first one to go for the spontaneous speaking i don't know why yeah. you picked me with the first and it was like uh, was that me did i speak for 2 yeah. minutes in an impromptu speech yeah. for the first time yeah. <laughs> and i wanted to go on so yeah. i mean that was like a surprise bingo yeah so it's all about you know one thing we say in speakathon is it's not about hard work and it's not about smart work it's about framework. framework there are frameworks for how to handle certain topics when it's about fact how to handle a story topic how what to say when people ask you about an opinion about something there are different two three stages of frameworks that once you learn it it's it's like an instant magic and first time like like you exactly the expression you had sometimes people use it first time and they're like it was that easy i could yeah. speak on a topic that i did not prepare because sometimes people you know they practice like 10 times 15 times for a 5 minute speech and now within a 5 second period you're giving a speech for 2 3 minutes and then later on 10 minutes without any preparation so question for you how does that make you feel now now that you have the skill and the power to speak on pretty much anything anytime even without preparation how does that make you feel it makes me feel unstoppable trust me vishal i think in the life of a, a lady or woman there is a phase you know where you have to take care of your responsibilities and i did it very well so today when i realized that you know i have set the emotional foundation of my kids now that you know i have set that foundation now is the time when i can you know spare a little more time for my career and now just because i have that skill just because i have that confidence i actually feel unstoppable as of now i you would like go. to share one more instance sure. where you know Absolutely. my my confidence level actually sky skyrocket uh, this was where you uh, made us do an assignment where we were supposed to go in a public area where most yeah. of the people are looking at us yes. oh my god i just loved it i think that was like which was something like you know it it went my it took my confidence to the 10x level you, so i remember i remember you handing the phone to somebody to record the video yes. as you are walking toward yeah. the camera right yeah. while doing it on the road yeah that was beautiful yeah. so 
Now that's why I say that very important to have the practical experience of speaking. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, sometimes people say, "Is it online, offline?" Doesn't matter if you have the right skills. You can like you and I have never met face to face. Verlin, would you verify that we have never met face to face never, in person? Yeah. But the skills you have taken, now you can go anywhere in the world, and you can speak on stage without any hesitation, without any problem, because you have learned the framework. So it doesn't matter whether it's online, offline, which country, two people, five people, ten people. Once you learn the framework, it's easy. So a couple of more questions before we wrap up. Um, I'm going to ask you about some of your biggest wins and achievements too. But so we spoke about confidence expressions in terms of impactful communication. We speak about your voice. Your I think you said something along along those lines a couple of minutes ago. Body language and aura. I just noted down when you said that. So body language wise, voice wise, or um connecting with the audience what were some of the issues that you faced before the program and and what is the scenario now that after you have gone through this this uh this program all right so while uh if i have to talk about voice um i would say i used to speak very fast earlier mm -hmm. so during all these sessions when we learned about voice modulation so emphasizing on certain words uh giving few pauses and speaking in a calmer tone was something that really helped me we also used a lot of techniques where how the king voice is supposed to be and how a romantic yeah. lover voice is supposed to be so this is yeah. the shift you know it's become it's become like my second nature now so that mm -hmm. is something which has really helped me in my voice modulations as well uh regarding body language the mm -hmm. way you walk the way you stand everything has been impacted in a way just because there is an internal shift and this internal shift is it's definitely going to impact your external world as well right beautiful i just wrote down this what you said the way you walk the way you talk yeah. that's very very powerful because many times people think it's all about just what i'm saying it's your being it's your presence that will speak louder than your words so great point right there um couple of questions verlin by being part of speakathon our public speaking mastery program um before we talk about what all you tried before joining us um like inside the program what what during or after that what were some of the wins the progress points that you are most proud of what what have you achieved using your voice using your communication that that makes you feel super proud of yourself all right so i recently got a job in an organization that i was looking out for since a very long time Absolutely. i think overall i have gained this confidence that i am a very good speaker that belief system and mm. uh, this belief system it's just you know it's just around you it makes you feel proud it makes you feel happy it makes you feel on cloud 9 apart yeah. from that i have committed myself that i'm going to be on ted very soon yeah. uh, my decision making skills have improved uh vishal so uh because all these sessions where you actually took us through affirmation seeing those affirmations every single day uh sharing the videos where you spoke about delusion 95% to elite 5% 5%, the qualities yeah. of a warrior and uh, how do you increase your productivity i mean i mean what do i name i mean there was not a single topic i think probably this is like a life coaching program which is going to influence not only your speaking skills but your overall personality as well so yeah. i think all these things combined together have definitely made me a better person a better mother i would say and wow. i'm far more yeah i'm far more better as a professional as well that melts my heart when i hear that yeah now you are a better better mother you are a better human being and of course we can see you are you are a fantastic speaker for sure now and you were good already but we we turned it up a notch we polished it to a whole different level and you did the work so i want you to i want you to take your right hand right now verlin i want you to say good job verlin i want you to say that to yourself good job verlin yeah. and uh, i can't thank you vishal for this the first session when i had been to speakathon i remember you said that you would make us a good speaker by hook or by crook or by crook i yeah. wasn't very sure i was very skeptical if this could really happen but mm. uh, i remember saying this in my last thank you speech as well that vishal you lived up to this statement so beautifully that you actually made us a good speaker and it's not just about me it's a journey we've been all uh, you know all the uh, remaining of uh, you know all the participants, participants as well now we're not participants we are friends now 
we are still in touch with each other we share our progress our wins we speak to each other on content and it is wow. so beautiful to have yes yeah, to have more friends who are like minded people and who know yeah. how we can support each other in this journey of professionalism and uh, it's it's now more like an extended family i would say so beautiful. yeah yeah so i i really want to thank you there are very few people who actually live up to this commitment but uh, with all those kind words those feedbacks you actually made me cry in one of the sessions as well with all those uh, harsh words but trust me i am so thankful to you for making me a good speaker by hook or by crook and i i i think that was the best day of my life and i actually took a decision to join speaker talk beautiful thank you yeah i i i love it i i while you're saying it i'm remembering all small those moments in the session i'm yeah. having a moment of nostalgia <laughs> in my own head but beautiful um before we wrap it up berlin couple of questions so uh, you mentioned something extremely vital because just this morning i got an email from somebody I will not name who this person was talking about but this was a lady named pooja who emailed me saying hey um you know she's she's from um she's from somewhere in india but she wrote an email saying basically she she spent couple of lakhs rupees in different courses for the last couple of months and years joining where you know they, she saw an ad of somebody uh, hey i'm from us i'm from uk i'm coming to india you know in person event online event when she joined all those programs some of them on were on leadership confidence communication and her whole point in the email was that vishal i joined many things where there were a lot of promises but i did not achieve the results even if i tried a lot and she said that i've done everything they told me it was all theoretical i did not get the attention the um, the feedback and basically you know she's saying should i give up um on this dream of being a great speaker like maybe i'm not meant to be that the reason i'm i bring that up is because we often see those on youtube linkedin different ads of people who are just promising they can make your confidence speaker in in 2 days 3 days um just because they have been on this stage and they have been this um and once you join it's like it's a crowd of hundreds of people or thousands of people and there is no individual attention without taking anybody's name we know for a fact that you were part of some of these courses before um what do you think was missing there uh, for which you did not achieve that transformation before coming to us what were again we can't take name okay so without taking the name of the people what what were the missing elements there and why do you think even after promising a lot they could not give you, give you the results if i can ask you that question um so bishan to answer this question i would say that see every trainer has their own style their own way of teaching things and in yeah. the previous courses of course i have learned a lot of things but that one thing which was so different with speakerthon was the practical implementation so uh, see you can give me the best of theory uh, that wedding this is the way where you can swim but a teacher who actually pushes you into the swimming pool and practically makes you do it that's the difference so i think although uh, you know the theory definitely helps but here with speakathon when we actually got that practice ground so without even realizing it was basically working in a very effortless way in a very conscious and subconscious level so the every day practicality of doing like two assignments three assignments and uh, all those sessions you know i remember the sunday sessions used to start around 4 and we used to close by 10 11 and still yeah. i mean we used to enjoy these sessions it was never hectic for me in fact my family members used to come up and say that wedding are you not tired i said no i'm just waiting for the next session to happen because there was so much more coming up so i think the best part of this was it was not about public speaking only theory it was more of a practical implementation where we actually did assignments and when we had sessions we actually performed our speeches in front of everyone uh, you know getting feedbacks as well apart from that uh, i believe it's not only about you know public speaking vishal you always mentioned that powerful living leads to powerful speaking so i think you probably transformed us in a way that now we are uh you know better people see about speaking is not just about something that you speak from your tongue it's a matter of your mind and your tongue coordination so today when i was ready in my mind when i was confident in my mind my tongue supported that 
so that was a way where i totally believe that you were playing with our mindset you were making us better individuals and then the by product was probably a better communicator which just came off mm. so the practical implementation of doing things and working on your overall mindset was something which mm. i think was the unique selling proposition or the usp of this program yeah and before coming to us like you said you join in some other places uh my question is if somebody is watching the video and they might have tried different courses and they have got the theory but no practical experience no results to show for but you could have given up right there berlin because hey i tried i joined some courses i tried i paid money you know i didn't improve i don't have to go to another mentor so what message do you have for those people who have tried something who have invested their hard earned money before they did not get the results what message berlin has for them just give speakathon and mr vishal sarkar this one last chance trust me i joined this course because on the last day of my life i do not want to live wow. or believe that i lived a life of regret and that one one last chance because this is that one public speaking course which is going to be the ultimate of all this is my promise to all of you you would not require any other course after this you would not require any other training and if speakathon cannot transform you nothing will ever do so don't even go and join anything else yeah so that's my only sense. message yes so i i am so thankful to god that that one moment where i actually thought that just let me give this last try and after this i'm not going anywhere but i'm sure i'm anyways not going anywhere now thank you thank you for sharing valin last question for for you there is somebody who's watching this video right now okay maybe they are on the phone maybe they are having they are driving they are walking they are at home they are thinking you know this lady speaks well this lady makes sense she is straightforward she has transformed her life but maybe a voice inside the head of this person is can can i really do it you know can i become a great speaker can i can i can it happen to me that i can speak in front of hundreds of people and with command and attention and credibility and authority i can rock the stage can it happen for me that in this lifetime i can communicate like a master can it happen in this lifetime that i'll speak without any hesitation that i'll have the confidence which is super ka upar so they they might be watching that one person is watching it right now thinking can it happen to me valin what message do you have for that person can they really do it one statement this man is going to make you a good speaker by hook or by crook just give your life into his hands just follow the process by blindly of course it would require dedication it would require a lot of practice but in the end if you are ready to put in your hard work he has all the frameworks he has everything that you require to be a good speaker and it is not just about me vishal in our batch as well i have seen people who i actually believed that oh my god these have i mean looking at the first video and the last video we did around 175 assignments and these were the major ones forget about the micro assignments and the online sessions that we did so yeah. i have seen that noticeable difference in those people as well so it was not just about me it was vishal speaking to each one of us so if we all can do it anyone in this world can do it trust me absolutely by the way i have a quick surprise for you and that is this i want to take you back to one of those moments in speakathon on last day i got this video ready for you because on last day you were talking about your experience so we'll watch it together for 30 seconds koshik thank you very much for everything and vishal thank you very much you are really you are really a god sent angel and i would recommend every person here please go and join this course please be a part of speakathon trust me you will remember me in your prayers wow. write down wow. my name and bless me for recommending this course to you please thank so you. <laughs> thank you this was on just for people who are watching it this is on the last day final few minutes before the session ended early uh, vishal this uh, makes me this. feel nostalgic oh my god i'm missing the speakathon days now <laughs> please take me back <laughs> you're always welcome berlin you're always welcome back 
Um, so that's all. So if you're watching this video, uh, you've watched for the last half an hour, you experienced Verlene's speaking about her life. She hid nothing. She was transparent, talking about her issues that she had, talking about her transformation, of what all she went through, because I don't give sugar-coated feedback. Right, Verlene? There is no Absolutely. sugar-coated feedback. And by Absolutely. the way, do you have to, in this lifetime, can't guarantee the next one, in this lifetime, do you have to join another public speaking course to overcome your issues this not lifetime? Not at all, not at all. <laughs> I had this goal of going ahead and helping a few underprivileged students as well to improve their speaking skills, their English speaking skills as well. So, yes, I am all ready, all set and fully confident now. Yeah, so you're ready to do courses for other people is what you mean, right? You're Absolutely. ready to offer and invite other people to upgrade their life. That's amazing. So everyone right now, if you're watching this video, you're watching it on your phone, your iPad, your computer, your big screen TV right now at your home, and you're probably wondering, can I be a great speaker? Verlin has already given you an answer. Verlin used to have self-doubt, but now she has super confidence. Verlin used to struggle with her body language and storytelling and connecting with the audience. Now she's a master when it comes to that. Verlene had the issue of spontaneous speaking and now within few seconds she can give a great speech for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes and even longer because she now knows the framework. So here's a question for you right now. How much longer do you want to keep struggling with your public speaking issues? I mean, if Verlene can do that, the thing is you can do that and all the problem is not going to go away on its own. You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision to change your life. So somewhere on the screen, you can see the information on how to reach out to us. Reach out to us, talk to one of our team members to know more about exactly when the next group is opening because Berlin, as you know, we don't open our groups all the time. There's a waiting period and only then we join and that's all we have. So remember, if Berlin could become a greater speaker, a better mother, a more confident human being, super sebi upar, then you can do that as well. <clears throat> it's been a lovely conversation, Berlin, with you. Together, we're going to finish it with that line. This is Bishal Sarkar reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about... Wow. Connection. Connection.